Hello, this is Kiss Baloo, and welcome back to more Goddess, an RPG for him that was made by a friend of mine. Uh, last time, we totally, we totally did it with a Lamia. <laughs> uh, and this time we're gonna make, we're gonna kill fish people, make fish sushi, and make fish, and more importantly, and most importantly, make fish puns. So, let's get on with the show. We waited until at back of the end until nightfall. Eventually, the fish people came, and with them, a storm like no other. Wow, that's loud. Like seriously, why is the rain so loud? Well, it won't be as bad for you because I'll make sure you can at least hear me over it. But wow. Um, uh, wow. It's time, Hilda, Chansey, young guard, for the fish people come at it on this night in all their fishy terror. Fishman emerged! Eat arrow, fish- wait, actually. Frenzy! And is dead. Victory! And a fish bone. These guys ain't too tough. They'll be minced fish meat in no time. What's that boy? Stamping his paw? Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm gonna guess one of them is in the well. Well, one of them is by the well. No. Hey! Game Maker! You need to add something for the well here. I'm just saying. This is a perfect opportunity for a well-based Easter egg. Anyway, let's fight some more fishmen. Kill them all! Oh my. That hurt a bit. Um... It kind of really sucks that you can't use bandages in battle. Um... Yeah... Oh, you can use them though! Okay then. Well, it's really expensive though. Seriously?! Man, I hope red doesn't go down. That would suck. Oh, you son of a bitch! He's 50% fish, 50% man, and 100% dead. What? Okay, um, how do I fix this? Um, like, how do I fix being dead? Because I need to fix it. Okay, um, how about... Seriously? Nope, that doesn't heal me either. Okay, this is actually a problem. As I seemingly have no means of reviving myself. Um, which I feel is something of a... an issue. Did I save? When did I last save? You know, I'm gonna need a cut here, so so that I'm not dead. So, see you in a minute, maybe? Okay, we're back. And now Red isn't dead, so you know that's good. 
And Fishman! Kill the Fishman! We must make more puns! I guess he should, shouldn't have finished around. He's probably thinking, this can't be... Wait, Scamp? Scampy? Uh, is that a fish pun? I'm not sure if that's actually a fish pun. That last one. But, whatever. Whatevs. Two more to go. Seriously, you're still here? Mm. Let's do this way this time. That does hurt a bit, doesn't it? Well, Frenzy, and Rampage, and just attack one. And then you're dead. That one wasn't bad, but he could do better. I'm trying to scale back on my killing, but that one was a pin in the bass. Oh god, no. I can't take it. The buns, they're so bad and yet so wonderful. And no, I'm definitely not biased. It's not like I helped come up with the fish puns or anything. Um, what are you talking about? Of course not. Okay then, and you're dead. What are you doing? I thought we were just getting started. Looks like I turned the scales on that one. Guess I'll have to bury him six feet under the sea. <laughs> I sent that one back to the Gilded Age. Guess I should have warned him about my right hook. Guess muscles are no replacement for muscles. Enough! I can't take any more fish puns! This is unbearable! I've never heard so many bad puns in my life! Bad fish based puns! I get it! Just to get it! We killed the goddamn fish people! They're all dead. Now let's turn in this job and get back to the inn so I can get some goddamn sleep. <laughs> Looks like this catch isn't so fresh after. <laughs> okay. With Hilda. Thoroughly enraged, we headed back to the inn and slept for the rest of the night off. In the morning, we headed to the pub to speak with Tobias and turn in our job. Oh, I had to normalize pretty quickly there because nar Narrator Red is should be stock or stoic and uh, sort of the straight man. Well, woman in this case. Um, but apparently she wasn't always like that. <laughs> That's just great. Ah, fine work indeed. The streets were littered with dead fish people this morning. That certainly sent a message to them. They'll stick to their rivers from now on. The town wouldn't have done... The town couldn't have done what you have done, Red. We are forever grateful. Here, take this money. So, how was the situation with the fish? I feel like there could be one more fish pun. Like, it would be perfect here if Tobias said one fish pun, and it just set, um, what's her name? Well, I can't, actually can't remember her name. And it just set Slave Girl off. 
I'm gonna need to check her name now, because that's gonna bother me. Um, I, well, best not to bring that up right now. But you're quickly winning the hearts of the town, you know that? I suppose I'm lovable enough, but it's probably chances that will uh, really seal the deal. No, I'm serious, Red. They view you as the town champion. The strongest and most capable person here. If things go bad, well... Well what? Never mind, you're probably looking for another job. I, and I have just the job for you. Let's hear it indeed. There's this package that has been delivered to the port to the west. The port's name, Salto Wither. It's easy to find, just follow the road west of here. The contact is waiting there with the package. Tell him I sent you, and he'll hand it over. Simply bring it back to me. Simple, but important. That package must reach this town safely. I trust only you, our town champion. You'll be rewarded just as handsomely as your previous jobs. Hilda. Why could I not remember that? Um. Oh well. Um. Wait. Did I get another key? I did not. That's a little disappointing. Um. Come to think of it, did I remember to? I did. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I can probably afford more equipment now, so... Oh yeah, I'd say so. I can buy the hardened leather outfit! Which is actually not as big a boost as the helmet, but I want this. Um, not items. Equipment. Hardened leather, much tougher than basic leather, if you say so. Sell the old one. And... I actually want to buy some herbs, as... I feel being able to do in-battle healing is probably more valuable right now than it was before. Um, yeah. I only got one of these because I'm neurologic, apparently, and two of these. Wait a second, I just realized there's a box in here. It's another herb! Awesome. Mmm. There's someone by the field over there. Mmm. Hmm. Anyway. To the dock! Which is just... Well, I guess I need to deal with you guys first. Yeah, they're hurting me a lot less than they were before. But, I don't think that's a bad thing, so... Let's just... You know, I could have probably done that a turn quicker, had I actually used my abilities. But, then I would have had to actually think? And who wants to do that? This has got to be it. Wait, wait... Excuse me. Okay. Ah, the sea. Breathe in that fresh salt air. Feel the wind on your face. Clean... Clean my monitor because I just sneezed on it. Um... I smell fish and seagull shit. Well, if you're gonna be like that... 
Out of the way! I'm a busy man in a busy port! Neutral lands with... Okay then. <laughs> Let's not be so literal, though. Right then, here you go. That should be all, just as we promised. Our business deal is done. I wonder what I just agreed to pick up. This seems a little bit shady, to be honest. Metal, maybe. That is dirt cheap. Well, obviously, I need to buy a fishing pole. Um, that's actually a key item. <laughs> Rooftop key number two, I can get to the roof! Yar! Gotta unload and load the ship, yar! Yar, pirates we be! Out the way of ye! But are you the dread pirate Ferris? No, no you're not. I got no business with ye then, lovers! Well, okay then. You, you, you didn't have to shout. Hey there! I live here at the port of my pa, but it's so boring. There's nothing to do. All there is in the is a bunch of water with fish swimming around. What's a kid to do? Well, why don't you go fishing? Huh? What's that? You don't know what fishing is? Oh kid, you need some teaching. Come back with a fishing rod sometime. Or I will. Guess what? I got you a fishing pole! Well, you put a worm on the end of the hook, like this. <laughs> Thanks, lady. This is going to be my lifelong hobby now. I'm going to be the best fisherman in the world. I'll tell my pa what did, too. I'm sure he'll be happy about eating all this fish. Maybe he'll even pay you back with something. Carl. Uh... Uh, mm. uh. No, no, no. Moving on. Oh, this is an inn. Hmm. I did cheer him up, though? Floating in the sea near the docks. Curious monkey statue. What? Beautiful and strange golden statue in the shape of a monkey. Wait! Bag of supplies. Almost missed that. Ah, just breathing in the salt air, it's refreshing. I think somebody might have mentioned it, yeah. Right then. Back to town! I bet that statue has something to do with the Duchess. Although, as far as I can tell, she isn't a duke. She is not... There's no duchy here! So, I think her title is something of a Miss Noemer, but, you know, whatever. Just kill it! I should actually heal, probably, but I'm right here, so I don't want to bother. Oh, that can't be good. No more taxes! Down with the Baroness! We're a free town! A free people! Down with nobility! Wait, is she a Baroness or a Duchess? Please, please restrain yourselves! Oh, she's a Baroness. So, 
You know, it's the same thing. I don't think this is a barony any more than it is a duchy. So, um, yeah. Bring out the Baroness! Bring her out! Back! Back, I say! Yep, but order of priority, first things first. And the roof is first. And here it lay, locked tight in this chest, safe from prying fingers, safe from people who would seek to steal it. As for me, I've had enough of this town. I'm off to other lands to discover new and more powerful means of weapon making. As for this place, it shall forever be in my memory as the location I constructed the most powerful weapon of all time! The Sky River! Okay, so is that a bow? It is. That's a pretty strong bow. This place emptied out a bit. What in the world is happening, Colbius? The people are reaching the breaking point. They've had enough of being pushed around by the Baroness. They've decided to form a mob, but nothing will come of it. They stand no chance against those soldiers right now make their time. Still, they're letting their voice be heard. Well, I don't blame them. It sounds like the Baroness is squeezing this town dry. I'm glad you're with us, Red. Do you have the package? Yeah, what is it? Just something very important, that's all. Oh yeah, just something. Tell me what it is! Don't worry about the mob. It'll sputter out as the sun sets. You get some rest of the inn. And Red, we can count on you, right? Of course. I've made this town my home. I stand with the people. We are so gonna get kicked out again. Probably by trying to save the Baroness, maybe. Well, maybe not? No, I can see that happening, actually. I mean, we'll kick her ass, but we probably won't kill her, so... Let's see, I need to sell my wolf pelt. And my bow, actually. Can't forget about that. And now I can buy this thing. And so that means I can sell that. And now I'm caught up on, is this a chest? No. Okay then, and now I'm caught up on buying things. So, let's take his advice and rest in the inn, I suppose. What a day. That mob was pretty crazy. I've seen this before. The populace gets fired, fed up with the ruling class, and they revolt. Usually poorly. I've seen palaces sacked, nobles dragged into the streets, stripped and beaten to death. That sounds awful. It's unfortunate it has to come to that. There's usually no other option by then. Nobility live in a completely different level than the regular people. There's no way they can emphasize with them. They were born with silver spoons in their mouths and believe they are above everyone else. Me and my men were actually hired once by a town to take over a palace. I personally took count, or took the count and count as prisoner, and gave them to the people. The aftermath was not pretty. They were stoned and quartered. Not really. <laughs> what? It shouldn't be that way though, Hilda. We spent the day relaxing, resting, and trading stories. As evening fell though, we received a visitor. Well, hello, Tobias. What brings you here? An urgent matter, Red. 
the crowd of people today at the Baroness's mansion actually got a response. One of the Baroness's soldiers read a message from the Baroness herself. She has agreed to talk to with one, and only one, representative from the town. I wanted to be you, Red. Hmm. No, I'm just a simple man. The town looks to me as a leader, but I can't match wits of nobility. Besides, the people have spoken. They want their champion to go. They want the Baroness to see you and be afraid. Like I said, you're the best warrior we have. The Baroness would surely be in intimidated by the likes of you. Well then, of course I'll do it. I did say I'd have your back after all. When does she want to meet? Tonight! She's arranged a dinner for herself and you. You must get ready at once. Dinner attire is expected, and the town shopkeeper can. Oh, no you don't. I won't be wearing a dress. I'm going, I'm doing this on my terms. I'll be wearing my, yeah. <laughs> sure, why not? I mean, if the Starks can do it. Um, that seems fair. I hope you know plenty about court etiquette, Hilda. I mean, yeah, that's why I'm bringing you along. <laughs> Chancy, you ready to eat caviar out of a gilded bowl? That a boy. Let's go. Okay. On that note, though, I'm gonna leave off here. Join me next time when we go tr crash the party at the Baroness's mansion. Until then, though, this has been Let's Play Goddess with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day. Bye!